Fisheries Professional Licensure Examination Sample Questions Aquaculture 1. Fishes born in fresh water who spend most of their lives in salt water and return to fresh water to spawn. A. Anadromous B. Catadromous C. Catadromous D. Oceanodromous Answer. A. Anadromous. Anadromous is the term that describes fish born in fresh water and spend most of their lives in salt water and return to fresh water to spawn, such as salmon and some species of sturgeon. 2. They are aquatic resources thriving in the water column or open sea. This includes swordfishes, tunas, round scads, anchovies, mackerels, and herrings. A. Marine fishery resources. B. Neuritic fishery resources. C. Pelagic fishery resources. D. Benthic fishery resources. Answer. C. Pelagic fishery resources. According to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Pelagic fish inhabit the water column of coasts, open oceans, and lakes. Pelagic fish get their name from the area that they inhabit called the pelagic zone. 3. Known as giant seaweed. A. Seagrass. B. Kelp. C. Neptune grass. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Kelp. Reaching heights of more than 100 feet or, 30 meters, the giant kelp is the largest seaweed and the largest of all marine algae. It lives in cold, clear waters, forming large, dense kelp forests that provide habitat for thousands of other marine species. Though it resembles a tall grass, giant kelp is not a plant. Instead, it is a brown alga and is part of the large kingdom of life known as the Protista. 4. Yellow head disease is caused by A. RNA virus B. White spot virus C. Vibriosis D. Parvovirus Answer. A. RNA virus. Yellowhead virus, YHV, is a pathogen of the black tiger shrimp, prawn, Peneus minotan, which is one of the world's major aquaculture species. It is caused by a single stranded RNA virus. It is characterized by yellowish discoloration of the cephalothorax caused by the underlying yellow hepatopancreas and pale body. Infected shrimp die quickly at a high rate. 5. Sig water of poisoning is caused by A. Carrageenan B. Algal bloom C. Copepods D. Dinoflagellates Answer D. Dinoflagellates. Sig water toxicity is a foodborne illness caused by eating fish contaminated with sig watoxin. This toxin is a potent neurotoxin that is produced by dinoflagellates such as Gambardiscus toxicus. They adhere to algae, coral, and seaweed, where herbivorous fish eat them. The fishes that most commonly cause sig water toxicity are barracuda, grouper, moray eel, amberjack, sea bass, sturgeon, parrotfish, surgeonfish, and red snapper. 6. Polyculture of carp first started in A. Thailand B. Singapore C. China D. Africa
Answer. C. China. Polyculture is the practice of culturing more than one species of aquatic organism in the same pond. It began in China for more than 1,000 years ago. The practice has spread throughout Southeast Asia, and into other parts of the world. 7. Aquaculture is the farming of a. Fishes and crustaceans b. Aquatic plants c. Mollusks d. All of the above Answer. D. All of the above. Aquaculture is the farming of aquatic organisms, including fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. Farming implies some form of intervention in the rearing process to enhance production, such as regular stocking, feeding, protection from predators, etc. Farming also implies individual or corporate ownership of the stock being cultivated, FAO. 1988. 8. Which one is a live bearer? A. Goldfish. B. Guppy. C. Tilapia. D. Pabda fish. Answer. B. Guppy. Live bearers are fishes that give birth to live young rather than eggs such as the family Poseleidae which include the guppy. Guppies are ovoviviparous, hence, they fertilize their eggs internally and produce live young. 9. The red tilapia species was introduced on 1978 in the Philippines by A. China B. Thailand C. Africa D. Singapore Answer. D. Singapore. According to DOSTPCAARD, the red tilapia was first introduced in the Philippines from Singapore in 1978. To date, at least three variant strains of red tilapia are grown commercially in the country, namely, Taiwanese red, Florida red, and Israeli red. 10. Largest lake in the Philippines. A. Lake Cebu. B. Lanao Lake. C. Laguna de Bay. D. Mainit Lake. Answer. C. Laguna de Bay. Laguna de Bay is the largest lake in the Philippines covering a surface of 900 square kilometers stretching over the provinces Rizal and Laguna. 11. Species that are deliberately or incidentally introduced into an area they do not naturally occur. a. Invasive species. b. Threatened species. c. Proposed species. d. Endangered species. Answer. A. Invasive species. 12. Species that is at alarmingly low number and is in danger of being endangered. A. Invasive species. B. Threatened species. C. Proposed species. D. Endangered species. Answer. B. Threatened species. Species that is likely to become endangered within the foreseeable future. 13. Any species that is in immediate danger of extinction. A. Invasive species. B. Threatened species. C. Proposed species. D. Endangered species.
Answer. D. Endangered species. Species that is in danger of extinction throughout all OR a significant portion of its range. It becomes endangered for two main reasons, loss of habitat and loss of genetic variation. 14. Country known for its longest history in muscle culture. A. Spain. B. France. C. Philippines. D. Thailand. Answer. B. France. France can probably be credited to have the longest history of muscle culture which dates as far back as 1235, Bardach et al, 1972, while Spain has been reported to be the top world producer of farmed muscles. 15. Stocking one species of the same size in a pond. A. Monosize stocking. B. Multi-stage stocking. C. Monosex stocking. D. Polyculture Answer A. Monosize stocking Monosize stocking is the stocking of one species of the same size in a pond and to harvest all the fish at a marketable size. 16. The red tilapia species was introduced on 1978 in the Philippines by A. China B. Singapore C. Thailand D. USA Answer B. Singapore the red tilapia was first introduced in the Philippines from Singapore in 1978. To date, at least three variant strains of red tilapia are grown commercially in the country, namely, Taiwanese red, Florida red, and Israeli red, dust pgard. 17 An organ that allows some fishes to gulp air and use atmospheric oxygen. A. Esophagus. B. Gill. C. Mouth. D. Labyrinth Answer D. Labyrinth It is an organ that enables the fishes to use oxygen from air gulped in through the mouth and thus to survive out of, or in oxygen-poor water. 18. Fishes born in upstream freshwater habitats then migrate downstream, still in fresh water, as juveniles to grow into adults before migrating back upstream to spawn. A. Catadromus B. Potamodromus C. Amphidromus D. Oceanodromus Answer B. Potamodromus. Potamodromus fish are born in upstream freshwater habitats, then migrate downstream, still in fresh water, as juveniles to grow into adults before migrating back upstream to spawn. Examples are sicklefin red horse, lake sturgeon, robust red horse, flathead catfish. 19. Fish is born near spawning grounds then drift on ocean currents as larvae before settling as juveniles to grow into adults before migrating back to spawning grounds. A. Catadromus B. Potamodromus C. Amphidromus D. Oceanodromus Answer D. Oceanodromus. Oceanodromus fish are born near spawning grounds, then drift on ocean currents as larvae before settling as juveniles to grow into adults before migrating back to spawning grounds. Examples are black grouper, mutton snapper, goliath grouper. 20. The most exported marine commercial fisheries product in the Philippines. A. 
sardines. B. Tuna. C. Salmon. D. Grouper. Answer. B. Tuna. In terms of quantity and value, tuna was the top exported commodity dispensed as fresh slash chilled slash frozen, smoked slash dried, and canned. Also, Philippines exported 103,543 metric ton of tuna in 2016, B. Far, 2017 and 169, 234 MT in 2018. The major markets for tuna include USA, Japan, and the UK. 21. Mozambique tilapia was introduced into the Philippines by A. Singapore B. Thailand C. China D. None of the above Answer. B. Thailand. Mozambique tilapia, Oreochromis mozambicus, was introduced into the Philippines from Thailand in 1950. It was not well accepted by consumers in the 1950s and 1960s due to its dark color, small size, and poor image. 22. It refers to a reduction in the pH of the ocean over an extended period of time caused primarily by the uptake of carbon dioxide, CO2, from the atmosphere. A. Ocean warming. B. Coral bleaching. C. Ocean acidification. D. Coral acidification. Answer. Ocean acidification. It is the reduction in the pH of the ocean over an extended period of time, caused primarily by uptake of carbon dioxide, CO2, from the atmosphere. When CO2 is absorbed by seawater, a series of chemical reactions occur resulting in the increased concentration of hydrogen ions. This increase causes the seawater to become more acidic and causes carbonate ions to be relatively less abundant. 23 They are aquatic resources that live and feed on, or near the bottom of water bodies such as cod, groupers, snappers, and mullets. A. Marine fishery resources. B. Neritic fishery resources. C. Pelagic fishery resources. D. Demersal fishery resources. Answer. D. Demersal fishery resources. Species living in, on, or just above shelf soft bottoms consist of specialized flat fishes, rays, and numerous generalized teleosts feeding on bottom invertebrates such as the zoobenthos and smaller fishes. 24. Which of the following are grown in aquaculture facilities? A. Fish. B. Crustaceans. C. Mollusks. D. Aquatic plants. E. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and aquatic plants can be grown in aquaculture facilities. 25. What is the salinity of brackish water? A. Less than 30 ppt. B. 30 ppt. C. More than 30 ppt. D. All of the above. Answer. B. 30 ppt. Brackish water can range in salinity anywhere from 0.5 to about 30 ppt. 26. It refers to the interconnected or interlocking relationships among various food chains in an ecosystem. A. Trophic level. B. Food chain. 
Seafood Web. D. None of the above. Answer. C. Food Web. It consists of all the food chains in a single ecosystem. Each living thing in an ecosystem is part of multiple food chains. Each food chain is one possible path that energy and nutrients may take as they move through the ecosystem. All of the interconnected and overlapping food chains in an ecosystem make up a food web. 27 An organism that obtains energy by feeding on other organisms. A. Consumer. B. Predator. C. Carnivore. D. Producer. Answer. A. Consumer. Consumers are organisms that are unable to make their own energy, and instead rely on the consumption and digestion of producers or other consumers, or both, to survive. They can be the carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores. 28. Dissolved oxygen is affected by A. Temperature B. Salinity C. Pressure D. All of the above Answer D. All of the above. Dissolved oxygen is affected by oxygen, salinity, and pressure. 29. It is similar to cages, except that the species are allowed to access the bottom of the water body. A. Fish ponds. B. Fish pens. C. Raceway culture. D. Fish cages. Answer. B. Fish pens. It is an artificial enclosure made up of poles closely arranged in an enclosure with wooden materials, screens, or nylons to prevent the escape of fish using the natural bed of the lake or sea as the bottom. 30. It is a channel or tank with continuous flow of water constructed or used for high-density fish production. A. Raceway culture. B. Fish cages. C. Recirculating system culture. D. Fish cages. Answer. A. Raceway culture. Are tanks which are relatively shallow and rely on a high water flow in proportion to their volume in order to sustain aquatic life. It requires water exchange to maintain suitable water quality for fish production and rely on water flow for the collection and removal of metabolic wastes. It is also known as flow-through culture system. 31. The stocking of one sex of fish in a culture period. A. Multi-size cropping. B. Mono-size stocking. C. Monosex stocking. D. Monoculture. Answer. Monosex stocking, it is the rearing of single sex, either all female, or all male. 32. It is the number of times fish in a pond are fed in a day. A. Feed conversion ratio. B. Feeding frequency. C. Feeding rate. D. All of the above. Answer. Feeding frequency is the number of times fish in a pond are fed in a day. It depends on the availability and cost of labor, size of pond, the preference of the farm manager and the feeding behavior of the species being cultured. 33. It is the amount of feed to be provided to the fish which is dependent on the fish's body weight. A. 
Feed conversion ratio. B. Feeding frequency. C. Feeding rate. D. All of the above. Answer. Feeding rate is the basis for determining the daily feed requirement of fish and is usually expressed as percentage fish body weight. 34. It is the ratio of the quantity of food distributed, in kg, to the weight gain of fish, in kg, over the same period of time. A. Feed conversion ratio. B. Feeding frequency. C. Feeding rate. D. All of the above. It is the amount of feed converted into fish flesh. It can provide a good indication of how efficient a feed or a feeding strategy can be. FCR equals feed given. Gain weight of fish. 35. It is a step in pond preparation wherein it is done to stabilize the soil colloids and oxidize organic matters that encourage the growth of natural fish food. A. Pond draining. B. Pond drying. C. Cultivation of pond bottom. D. Fertilizer application. Answer. It is a step in pond preparation wherein it is done to stabilize the soil colloids and oxidize organic matters that encourage the growth of natural fish food. Also, is done to kill the predatory or disease-causing organisms. 36. It is the maximum weight of fish which a pond can support without gain of loss in weight. A. Standing crop. B. Critical standing crop. C. Feed conversion ratio. D. Feeding frequency. Answer. Critical standing crop, is maximum biomass of fish a system can support without gain or loss in weight. 37. It is the weight of organisms present in a body of water at a specific moment. A. Standing crop. B. Critical standing crop. C. Feed conversion ratio. D. Feeding frequency. Answer. Standing crop, is the biomass of organisms present in a body of water at a particular time. 38. It is the total weight of organisms contained in a sample weight of organic material present per unit area or volume. A. Standing crop. B. Critical standing crop. C. Feed conversion ratio. D. Biomass. Answer. Biomass is the amount of living matter in a given habitat, expressed either as the weight of organisms per unit area or as the volume of organisms per unit volume of habitat. 39. It is the adaptation of fishes to its new environment. A. Aeration. B. Harvesting. C. Acclimatization. D. Sexing. Answer. Acclimatization is basically the adaptation of fishes to the temperature of its new environment. 40. It is done to produce fry outside the normal spawning season by injecting hormones. A. Hybridization. B. Induced spawning. C. Grading. D. Sexing.
Answer. Induced spawning, it is one of the common methods to stimulate ovulation of fish to produce fry outside the normal spawning season for maximum hatchery production and to provide fish when the price and market demand is greatest. 41. It is commonly known as blue delapia. A. Oreochromes mosambicus. B. Oreochromes niloticus. C. Oreochromes urolepi hornorum. D. Oreochromes aureus. Answer. Oreotromenes aureus, it is a hardy cichlid native to Africa and the Middle East which is known to display aggressive behavior and can strongly compete with native species for spawning space, food, and habitat. 42. Hagfish and lampreys are a. Jawless fishes b. Cartilaginous fishes c. Bony fishes d. None of the above Answer. It is also called agnathans or craniates that represent an ancient vertebrate lineage that arose over 550 million years ago. Its defining features include lack of jaws and lack of paired lateral appendages or fins. 43. Sharks, skates, rays are a. Jawless fishes b. Cartilaginous fishes c. Bony fishes d. None of the above. Answer. It belonged to the class Chondrichthyes wherein these are animals that have cartilage skeletons. These taxa have an ancient evolutionary history, since they appeared more than 450 million years ago. 44. Carrying capacity per unit area can be further increased by holding water to reduce the concentration of organic matter, reducing bod and increasing dew levels allowing higher rates for feeding. A. All underlined words are correct. B. All underlined words are incorrect. C. The first word underlined is correct but the next words underlined are incorrect. D. The first word underlined is incorrect but the next words underlined are correct. Answer. Carrying capacity per unit area can be further increased by exchanging water to reduce the concentration of organic matter, reducing bod and increasing dew levels allowing higher rates for feeding. 45. Frequent feeding is recommended when a. Fish are small b. Natural food is inadequate c. Feeds are less stable d. None of the above e. All of the above Answer Frequent feeding is recommended on the following conditions. 1. When fish are small. 2. When natural food is inadequate. 3. When the feeds are less stable. 46. It is the biggest fish in the labyrinth group. A. Pearl gurumi. B. Giant gurumi. C. Kissing gurumi. D. Three spot gurumi. Answer. Giant gurumi, it is the biggest fish in the labyrinth group. It can grow in size for about one foot in length and especially for those bred in large ponds. Some can even reach for more than two feet. 47. It is the intensive culture of fish or shrimp as integrated units with seaweeds and mollusk culture. A. Polyculture. B. Monoculture. C. 
Intensive Aquaculture System D. Integrated Multi-Trophic Aquaculture Answer. It is an evolving approach to seafood production that emphasizes an ecosystem management approach where fed species, such as finfish or shrimp, are farmed in close proximity to species that can extract nutrients from the water column, such as shellfish and algae or seaweed. 48. They contain phycoerythrin which gives algae its red pigmentation. A. Rhodophyta. B. Scientophyta. C. Chlorophyta. D. Chrysophyta. Answer. Rhodophyta, red algae contain a variety of pigments, including chlorophyll, red phycoerythrin, blue phycocyanin, carotenes, lutein, and zeaxanthin. But the most important pigment is phycoerythrin which provides these algae with their red pigmentation by reflecting red light and absorbing blue light. 49. It is the amount of oxygen needed to decompose organic matter under aerobic condition. A. By a filter. B. Dissolved oxygen. C. Biochemical oxygen demand. D. All of the above. Answer. Biochemical oxygen demand is the amount of dissolved oxygen used by microorganisms in the biological process of metabolizing organic matter in water. The more organic matter there is, the greater the bod, and the greater the bod, the lower the amount of dissolved oxygen available for higher animals such as fishes. 50. It is a sensory system that allows fishes to detect weak water motions and pressure gradients. A. Gills. B. Lateral line. C. Dorsal fins. D. None of the above. Answer. It is tactile sense organ in fishes that detect movements and pressure changes in the surrounding water. It is made up of a series of mechanoreceptors called neuromasts arranged in an interconnected network along the head and body.